Follow these steps to replace your Greenlight Seed card reader with a Greenlight Engage device on your glass front vending machine. You will need your Greenlight kit as well as an 11 32nd inch nut driver, Phillips screwdriver, zip ties, and then a blade to cut zip ties. Make sure the machine is powered off and unplugged. Begin by removing the orange seed telemetry box and connections. It will be important to discard your old seed card reader cables so you do not get them confused with your new Engage card reader cables. We also recommend leaving the green light temperature sensor installed in your machine so that you can refer to its routing and location when and if a temperature sensor becomes available with green light ePort. It is likely you will need to cut zip ties to remove the harnessing. The harnessing you will want to remove generally has an orange sticker label on them. Disconnect the MDB cable here. This cable goes to your coin mechanism and bill acceptor. Disconnect your green light door switch harness and connect your door switch harness that is running from the control board. It does not matter which one of these connectors you place on which pin. Remove the DEX plug here. It is important your new DEX connection will be plugged in securely. Next, you will need an 11 32nd inch nut driver to remove the four nuts attaching the back plate to the card reader. Then pull out the card reader through the back of the machine. Some machine models may have a slightly different layout behind the door and may need the removal of the coin mechanism mount or coin chute or other adjustments to remove the card reader. If this is required, be sure to take a picture of where they are located so you will know how to put them back in place correctly. If you're renting your seed card reader, it will need to be deactivated on your account so that you will not receive reoccurring charges for that device. Next, place the back plate onto the card reader. Make sure the gasket part goes onto the card reader and these holes are at the top and these holes are at the bottom. Use the four Phillips screws from the Engage kit and attach the back plate to the card reader. Plug in the MDB harness whose male part will fit into the card reader's female end and plug in the extension cord here. Next, plug in the DEX harness to the back of the card reader here. Now we will attach the cellular antenna to the top of the machine. Unscrew and remove the nut from the bottom of the antenna. Hold onto the nut while you run the antenna wires down through the top of the cabinet. Place the antenna on the top. Now take the nut and run the wires through it so you can screw it in the cabinet under the antenna here, securing it in place. Make sure the antenna wires go behind the power box. We do not want them to get caught in the door. Next, attach the cellular antenna to the back of the card reader here on the bottom. Plug in the Bluetooth antenna just above the cellular antenna here. Now you can insert the card reader in place. Make sure this logo is on the bottom. Depending on your machine, you may need to slide the coin mechanism off the rails to properly secure the card reader in place. Secure the card reader with the four 11 32nd inch nuts. Plug in the DEX harness from the card reader. This plug-in is for the operator's handheld DEX connection for machine stocking. Next, disconnect the MDB harness connecting the bill validator to the control board and connect the MDB from the card reader to this harness Next, connect the other MDB harness from the card reader to the coin mechanism. Attach the magnetic Bluetooth antenna to the machine here. Now use the zip ties to tidy up the harnesses so they do not disrupt machine operation.